like the consciousness of liberty. You need <clears throat> to carry the consciousness that the God that you serve is a good God. And he has set you at liberty. There are all things we walk for your good. And there are all things we speak for your good. The Bible says, not of him that wears, nor of him who knows how to run. So it's not about how fast you think you are. It's about of the Lord that showed mercy. If there is no <clears throat> involvement, that is, if there is no divine input, you'll be put into rubbish. Until God is involved, there is no true liberty. Harvest of life, harvest of grace, harvest of his goodness is a reality only when he is involved. The Bible calls him the Lord of harvest. Oh, you want to harvest fruitfulness or you want to harvest business exploit until there is an input of God. For in him, the Bible says, we live. So outside him, they will kill us. You know, Israel say, if it has not been the Lord on our side, men would have swallowed us. So your liberty, your freedom, your glory, your exploit, your dominion, the happiness in your home, the fulfillment of your children, the peaceful and blissfulness in marriage is as a result of God getting involved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm speaking to us this morning on the subject, the reality of your harvest. <clears throat> the reality of your harvest. Last week, I was speaking to us on the prerequisites. Now, the reality, God is the father of life. That's how the Bible puts it. It says, He is the father of life in whom there is no variableness, no shadow of turning. Another translation says, In whom there is no traces of darkness. You know, the FVW was talking about the FVT was saying, in whom you can't find connection of darkness. So, there is no darkness involvement in him. That is, he is not the God of dark things. So, you know what? The God, the one you serve, is not the God of bad news. So, when, in other words, when bad news comes, in, God permit. No, not for the saints. Are you following me right now? Not for the saint. He said, if you found this, he said, an enemy has done this. So you need to know, not that God put it there. God allowed it. No. He said, an enemy did this. And so you need to operate at a position of your life that this thing will work this thing we speak, that this thing we answer for me, if others believe it or not, is not required. You must be able to ascertain the reality of your harvest by your conviction. The Bible says, thou shalt have whatsoever you say. Can this dry bone leaves? The young man said, Lord, thou knowest. <laughs> and immediately began to tell God, God, you know everything will work. 
You know every, hey, you know how it work. Okay, then let's do it together. Son of man, professor. Ah, you know what? Son of man, say it again. It will work. Say it again. It will work. Woo! Say it again. It will work. He says, speak to the north wind. Speak to the east, to the west, and to the south wind. Say it. He said, command great armies to comfort. He said, speak as I'm commanded. You are connected to a father in whom there is no variableness. There is no form of bad news. I don't need encouragement to know there is no bad news around me. I don't need encouragement. You must come to that phase whereby you carry the consciousness that all things work together for good. Even when they are telling you there is a trace of bad news. And you still see it that the end of the bad news that begin is good news. For we know that all things work together. All things. All things. The negative and the positive. For the good of them that love the Lord and to them also who are called according to his purpose. We have been called into the kingdom of his dear son. We are not one of the son. We are a dear son. David said, give me understanding and I shall live. I will live knowing that all things will work. I will live knowing that everything will speak. I will live knowing that all things will yield results. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. Everything is working for my good. Say again, in the name of Jesus. All things working for my good. Say, in the name of Jesus. I undo great and mighty things. In the name of Jesus. In this adverse season. I will gather so much. Say in the name of Jesus. All things work. Thank you Lord Jesus. By knowing. That your father is the father of life. You start winning expressly. God doesn't have problem with harvest. But every harvest is as a result of the quality of seed sown. Let me come again. God doesn't have problems with harvest. But every harvest is as a result of the quality of seed sown. What seed are you sowing in pain? He said, Count it all joy, a thing of joy, when you go through diverse trials, because it will come. But in trial, what seed are you sowing? There are people, when small things come before them, they begin to question God. You know, when you come into a consciousness of the spirit that no matter the pain and you carry the understanding that your harvest is as a result of the quality of seed sown. Then you will know that the wind 
It's not in the hand of God, but your hand. To move forward. It's not in the hand of God, but your hand. He said, why? How do I know this? He said, I have given you, Benga, the keys. The keys to the kingdom of heaven. If there is a place in heaven where host of heaven refuse to open, he said, the key is in your hand. I have given you the keys. And the keys that controls the heart beneath, I have given it to you. Son of man, what seed are you sowing? There are many things you have allowed and accept that this is how it should be. God says no. Because someone who is saying it seems to be a professional. Someone who is saying it seems to be intelligent better than you. And you accept it because you feel is an authority in that face. No one has the authority to see any word pass through your life. The word you never believe, you never accept. I will show you this. The word you never believe, the word you never accept. No one, not even in heaven, has the authority to see it go through. You're not getting what I'm saying. If God declare, I'm going to bless humanity. It is the day you accept that word that the blessing becomes so evident. You don't understand the willpower of man. The, the willpower, the consciousness of man, the, the, the God-giving grace of man, the walking power, even the angels were confused. Who is man? That you are mindful of him. The son of man. That you put all things, all things in this church. All things, all things. We are such in heaven and we found there is none like him. You have visited him. Your dominion power rests on him. He is the only created being who can enforce anything. Who can destroy anything. Who can form and create anything. Angels can move a finger outside God. And man has the willpower to do anything. Not even heaven can cause a word to pass on your life until you have agreed upon it. Not even heaven. The Bible said Jesus came to the city to bless the people. The people were not ready and the power to bless could not manifest from Christ. There is so much you can't force anything on man until man is ready. How come you are accepting evil when you there's a part of you say you are not ready for it? Give me understanding. I carry an understanding that every business must succeed, man. If if you cut me open, what you see on every side is that it will succeed. Strange understanding. Your harvest is as a result of the quality of your seed sown. The seed you never believed in will not produce the result that you are aiming at. Matthew 18, 18, the message translation. We take from verse 18. To 20. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Things will begin to work now. Yes, yes. <sighs> Some of you don't know that without your words, heaven is a place. Take this most seriously, Ebenezer. Your yes on heart is a yes in heaven. And if you say no on heart, it is no. Even if God and the host of heaven sit down together. What you say to one another is eternal. When you look at your brother like this, I say, come here, come here. 
What did you say happened last night? Oh, I saw some angels. And they said, things will work, things will work. Come on, push angels by the side. Put angels by the side. Now look at me. Brother, look at me. Brother, look at me. And as you're looking at one another, he said, look at me now. He said, but I've been looking at you. He said, no, I want you to see me. See me. The reflection of God. The image of God. See me. The one who, that the host of heaven are envious of. See me. And then he's still looking at you. He said, look at me. Even angels can't understand who I am. He said, what are you saying? Look at me. He said, I say. I say and I say. And I say. I say, and I say, all things working, irrespective of what angels have said. That was why when the prophet went to meet Ezekiah, prepare your house, today you will die. God spoke to him. God sent him. He was coming with God's word. He was bearing God's word. There is a man who has an understanding that the kingdom is about rules and principles. And God does not break order. God is not an intruder. If I have not accepted it, God will not enforce it. Yeah. Say, you prophet, hold on, I'm coming. He backed the wall. As long as I live, oh God of heaven, there is peace in Israel. He gave God the reason. Ah! And God spoke again to the prophet. I didn't know there is a man who is like God, who speaks as God, who manifests as God, who is in control like God, who has no iota of doubt, who has been able to kill fear, who has been able to swallow doubt in victory. I don't know there is another man that death is scared of. Even your visitation now to hell is trouble. You don't understand. So the devil better, I just put you, say, don't go there. Just leave this one. You try to touch him, everyone will roast. It is the consciousness of the spirit that he carries that determines his height in the realm of the spirit. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. I don't know how many days it is for the year to go. But each day from today is your good news day. <laughs> I say it by the authority of the name Jesus. Each day from today is your good day. If you believe it, say Lord, amen three times. You may please have your seat. <laughs> there is one thing I know wherever I go. Jesus Lord never fear me. Yet. Never fear me yet. Never fear me yet. Jesus Lord never fear me yet <laughs> there is one thing I know wherever I go Jesus Lord never fear me yet. Matthew 18 verse 19 the message translation and so God's word came expressly. When two of you together on anything on earth and make a prayer out of it. They say there's an economic crisis. That's your problem. Are you following me right? Oh, they say things are tough because you choose to see toughness. You are what you see. What you permit. Now, we're, we're shouting things are tough, things are tough, things are tough. In the last 10 years, things have been tough in, Madugu, in Maduguri. And people are surviving. You are just feeling it now. People have lost brothers, sisters. Some people watch their wife died.
Thank you, Lord Jesus. He said, I praise him for his works that he has shown. I praise him for his act and deeds that I have seen. What seed are you sowing in trials? The quality of it determines the reality. Are you part of the people that says everything is hard, you know? So when there is a casting down, I will say there is a lifting up. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you have done my life. <laughs> I am so blessed. My soul has found rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. <laughs> oh Lord, I give you thanks. 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 Just listen to the word. I give you thanks for all you have done in my life. I am so, I mean myself, my soul has found rest. Oh Lord, I give Thank you, Lord Jesus. What seed are you sowing when the world around you seems upside down? When you have tried all things and it seems all doors are shut. It takes a man who carries the consciousness that when doors are shut, there is still a door. And then by the consciousness of the spirit, he begins to acknowledge him. Lord, I thank you for the closed doors. I thank you for the road that there is no way. Because I know you are the door. So I'm not focusing on those that I'm focusing on you. Who is the door of doors? The way of ways. Him, him is so afraid. The children of Israel, they were looking for a plain ground. And they thought that was the way. And God said, head towards the Red Sea. Head towards the Red Sea. Why will you be sending us on the rest? He got a plan. A plan to drown your enemy. Because the Red Sea has been given a command to submit to you, not your enemies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most time when you think you are overwhelmed with a problem and challenges, if anything shows on the scene, it's for your glorification. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your sees the praise. Lord, my is the victory. Satan is defeated. Yours is the praise. Lord, yours is the praise. And Lord, mine is the victory. Satan is defeated. Yours is the praise. Lord, yours is the praise. Lord, mine is the victory. 
Satan is defeated. Yours is the prey. Somebody put your right hand on your chest and say consciously, I refuse to give up on anything that has brought me joy once. I say consciously that no storm, no challenges or trial of life can take away what is mine. Say, I receive the God's given spirit to be ahead of the manipulations of the wicked. And I carry the consciousness of the power of God that makes all things work. So, me, I'm exceptional. You see that? The reality of your office. Things you need to know. What? God is looking for laborers. God is looking. Now, this is the height where harvest begin to, you know, there's a level, it just begin to follow you. And there's a level you begin to lay up gold as dust. There's a level you get to now. Eh? You won't even remember somebody's owing you a millionaire. And there is a level you will get to. You will not remember you kept a million dollars somewhere. You don't understand. Men are in sizes. And life is in faces. God is looking for laborers. So you know what? No laborer. No harvest. No labor. No harvest. The Bible was speaking in Matthew chapter 9, in verse 38. It said, Pray ye therefore, pray ye therefore to the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. What you have not labored for, don't expect. You know, some people, there are people who come to church, they are just waiting for the prophecy. What the pastor prophesied. And after service, just on a day like this, after service, Paul took, thank you Holy Spirit, Paul took Timothy by the corner, after service. After service. He said, son Timothy, in the service, there were prophecies pronounced. And they said, my son, consigning the prophecies which has gone ahead of you, to see the reality of the harvest war. You know what? Labor. When wars have been spoken, Sunday service is not a thing you just come casual. It's a spiritual weekend. And you take note of what has been said. When you get home, what again is the declaration for the week? And then you begin to work on it. You sit down with it. You enforce it. You speak about it. And you send it ahead. Whoa. Good warfare. God is looking for laborers. You must labor in the place of worship. Even when nothing is perfect around you. You must labor. He said, pray. And I say again, pray. You must labor in the place of prayer. Even when it seems every prayer is not yielding result. You must labor in goodwill when no one is introducing goodwill to you. <laughs> you must labor in giving good things. In positive thoughts. Even when nothing is encouraging. You know what David said? He said, I encourage myself. No one encouraged me. No wife encouraged you. No brother encouraged you. No uncle encouraged you. Brother, shut the door. If you are looking for what to encourage, face the mirror, you will see him. Yes, sir. <laughs> are you following me? Begin to tell him. When you see him by the mirror, you are the light. <laughs> 
a city set on the hill that cannot be hidden. When you shine, darkness disappears. At your emergence, great things begin to happen. You know, the world is so scared of you. The, you talk to him in the mirror. Guy, look at me. The world is so scared of you. The, the, he, said, he said, you are never alone. You are in the company of the host of heaven. The spirit of just men may perfect. You are in the company of innumerable gathering of angels. Young man, you are encouraged. I am what I see. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. The evidence of your reality, of your harvest. God is not looking for onlookers. Some say, oh, pastor says something, so let me see how it will come to pass. It won't come. It will never come to pass. Until you walk. So it's a two thing, two way things, two way things. A dimension of grace and exploit, an unusual dimension of glory. It's your time, bro. You don't understand. It's your time. Now I want to give you two minutes. You are not praying. You are standing up, and you are just declaring it, and then you are acting it. It's my time. Oh, I carry the consciousness. It's my time. I speak by the Spirit. It's my time. I say it. My time when all things walking, when all things speaking, my time when all things yielding result. It is my time. I say it as I see it. It's my time. It's my time. Now listen, listen, listen. I'm going higher. Yes, I am. I'm going higher today. I'm going higher. Yes, I am. Somebody take his prophetic song in Jesus to say. I'm going. I'm, I'm going above the ship to the presence of God. I'm going higher. I'm to the presence of Jesus. I'm going higher. 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 Get a neighbor. Uh, uh, Mr. Ba, we are going higher. Yes, we are. Going. You are going. We are going higher. higher today. We are going. We are going higher. Yes, I am. I'm going higher. In Jesus. I'm going above the shadow. Into the presence. Into the presence of God. Into the presence of Jesus. of the song says we are going higher yes we are 
We are going higher today. We are going higher above the shadow into the presence of God. Into the presence of our God. We are going higher today. Please take your seat. Don't be among those who keep quiet. Don't be among those who accept anything. Don't be among those who fold their hand. In fact, don't wait for an opportunity to be pitied. There is no glory in pity. The best you get is I will help you. And you end up being fully disappointed. There is no glory. Stand up and tell yourself that God in me has imagined. There is a part of Yeshua in me. I'm not ordinary. You are more than what they think you are. You're a voice to the nation. You know what he said in Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5? There was something strange about you. He said, before. Before, not after. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee. I have an understanding of what Oyeyibo is. Before he came forth out of his mother's womb, I sanctified him. Someone say, I'm a sanctified being. I'm a sanctified being. Let me tell you something. The devil is scared of me. If you see him, ask him. Thy walls were found. And I did it. I didn't locate it alone. I saw it. I sat down there. I hit it. It became the joy. And the rejoicing of my heart. I found it. I sat there. I ate it. I found it. I sat down there. I ate it. I found it. I sat. Down. Hello, sir. My generation's destiny is secured. Yes, you don't understand. Yes, I found something. And in a short while, the world will gather. Yes. And they will say, he found something. Yes. Yes. It's in a short while. The entrance of his word gives light and understanding to the simple. Nothing dies around us. In him, not in us, we live. You have to get to him to get to us. In him, we move. You can't stop our movement. You can't end our business. You have to hinder him best. First, to hinder our business. And in him we have our being. You can't deny us access to what we are about to get. Never. Never. Not with us. Everything was created by words. Destiny decided by words. Journey form orchestrated by words. What came to be become a reality by words. Look at it, my dear. God is looking for laborers. Those who will labor with the word. As I was with Moses, I will be with you. But come before I go. This book of the law shall not depart from thee. Thou shalt sit down, Joshua. Meditate upon it day and night. Night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Then, Ebenezeri, thou shalt make your ways prosperous, and thou shalt find good success. Draw me near. the cross where thou had died yes Lord draw me
reality of your harvest, number two thing you need to know. Your harvest is in doing God's will. Your harvest is in doing God's will. You are not wrong as long as all you're doing is God's will. Let me come again. You are not wrong as long as all you're doing is God's will. Thank you, Holy Spirit. John chapter 4, the message translation, the Bible says in verse 34, John 4, 34, the message translation, Jesus said, my food, he said, the food that keeps me going is that I do the will of the one who sent me. Finishing the work he started. Hold on. <clears throat> what did he start? He started by telling you a thousand shall fall by your right. Ten thousand on the other side. It shall not come near you. So your duty is to stand on the will of the Father. Though I dash my feet on stone, he has given his angel charge over me. And nothing shall by any means hurt me. What is the Father's will? To make sure all things work for your good. He said, be anxious for nothing. For nothing. But in all things. But in all things. He says, by prayer, supplication, and with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the consciousness is still there. Make your request known. What is the will of the Father? That when the enemy come like a proud water, the spirit of the Lord shall lift the consciousness that you carry that the spirit is ever there are you following me right now what is the will of the father i am the god the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for me to do i'm the god of all impossibility the father's will is to solve impossible cases so every time you see impossible cases rejoice if I say this thing is impossible, who just enter inside your house? You understand me? They just told the boy is impossible. This business will not, this deal will not go to enter your house. When you just enter like this, I say, Why are you rolling? You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. <laughs> this it will not work, Mumu. I give you glory <laughs> and honor. Yes, Lord, you are the Lord. Let your name be Lord. I there. They didn't know that truly with man it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And to him that believes, that makes me and God. Because I believe, God also believes. Lord, I give you glory and Lord and honor. Yes, Lord, you are the Lord. <laughs> Let your name. This is it when you speak by the Spirit. It is happening by his grace <laughs> my miracles are coming by the spirit my miracles are coming by his grace things are working by the spirit <laughs> things are working by his grace <laughs> my miracles are coming by the spirit my miracles are coming by his grace stand on your feet I'll continue this message on Tuesday now 
Listen, people of God, just listen. There is what we call the endorsement for harvest. It's an anointing of God. It's a spirit of God that, you know, provoking. It is called provoking the spirit of harvest. I'm going to initiate that on Tuesday with an impartation. It's an anointing impartation that will help you carry the grace of the 11th hour. Are you following me right now? There is a grace that, you know, that short death. There's a grace that makes things work. There's a grace, a grace that still makes you live. Having all things speaking. Don't miss Tuesday service if you love yourself. Are you following me right now? God is a good God. John 4, 34. The message translation. Jesus said, The food that keeps me going is that I do the will of the one who sent me. Finishing the work ahead, verse 34, 35. And then he said, As you look around right now, right now, wouldn't you say, please kick those things out, wouldn't you say that in about four months it will be time to harvest? Well, I'm telling you to open your eyes today, 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 and take a good look at what is right in front of you. The Samaritan field arrived. It is harvest time. Listen, people of God, sometimes you don't know the trials of you know, the faithful. You know, the, can you kick those cheeks out there, please? The faithfulness of God. The reality of his loving kindness. The, the reality of his loving kindness. And most times, what what the priests, the pastors have to bear just to make sure truth is communicated to you. And just to make sure that all things is you know, working, all things speaking. The life of God is the cheapest thing for God to give. Initially, you never ask for it. The Bible says God caused the first man to sleep and breath the breath of his nostril, which was the life of God and give man. So that man will be operating in life, man will be carrying grace. My wife has not been in church for some time now. And on Tuesday, if not for God, if not for the covenant of life, if not for the consciousness of the spirit, we would have lost her. And so that you learn how to stand and abide with God. If you don't know God, if you don't know God, find him today. Let me tell you, I told a young man, I said, no matter how foolishness, how foolish you are, no matter the extent of your foolishness, have a place, one corner where you meet with God. You remember that guy, that thief, that unfaithful unrighteous one, and the story of the so-called holier than thou. The one holier than thou just always come before God, you know, I'm holy, I've not done this, I've not, but the other one just come before God, you see me as I did. Only you know me as I did. In fact, yesterday my sin was numerous. I just brought it before you again. I'm this. You must have a corner where you meet God. I've heard of People, you know, just walk on the road. Some, some will be on the steering. And then they are, the, they are just by the traffic and the man is gone. And then because something just happened. My wife was having an internal bleeding. And she had bled about 2.4, 2.6 liters of blood. Not knowing she was dying. She went to walk. But not knowing she was dying. There is a God. He is called the covenant keeping God. And the reality of his life. When, when they brought me to the corner and said, it is now the matter of life and death. I said, now come, there is no death. It's life. I said to her, look at me. 
you have you even have an assurance. Me, I should look for one. The assurance is that you cannot go before me. It's the covenant of life. That you are meant to succeed me. God is on the throne. I'm still standing. Nothing is yet to kill. It was the covenant I found in Christ long ago. I will not be among the pastors, the ministers whose wife died before him. I saw it long ago. That the best way to keep your home is that the woman of your youth keep your children. I saw it early. And I told God, one thing, one thing I ask of you. I don't have two requests. I don't have two requests. One thing, just keep her. With my fight, with my argue, but my single request, keep this woman to survive me. Because she is my shield. Just as God is one. You want to live peacefully? Raise your woman to be successful. Raise her. Raise her to move in glory. Raise her to be spiritually powerful. Encourage her. It to God. And yet, you know, people are still, some people are still calling me, you know, for some stupid, stupid things. So when I even pick the call, you know, when the call is, you are attending to something, you are taking over his feet. I say, okay, okay, God, oh, please don't get angry. Maybe I've been denying this person's call. Let me pick, and you pick the call. It's a foolish thing. And you are faced with a real wolf. Some get, even get angry. I call, call four times. You didn't pick. If you have called four times, you know me in this church. If you call me twice, I must have picked your call. I'm not Benga. You can call Benga 10 hours. Are you following me? You won't pick. But you call once. Even if you call 2 a.m., I'll pick. And if I don't pick the second time, just steal your own. Maybe you will repent. Are you following me right now? But you see, we're able to talk about this. Because he gave us life. Are you following me right now? I'm not asking you to pray for us. No. No. Sit on the drum, Micah. To be come and praise God. Now, we are not praying, we are praising God. Hallelujah. Let's, let's do an high praise. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow, and I am free. I can make pure hallelujah. Because of Jesus, every day that because of Jesus, every day na shakara de double double every blessings that He may be received. Ah, God, the of mercy is always to follow me. Ah, yeah, ah, give Him a victory. Give Him a victory. Ah, yeah, 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 give Him a victory. Has given him a victory. Yeah. Somebody yeah. shout yeah. hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Come and say what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow. Now I am free. Because of Jesus, every day now. Double, 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 has given me victory. Has given me victory. Everybody say hallelujah. 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 Are you ready? Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Let me see you celebrate the Lord. Oh, Semilandu, yes. Mark Bonogora. Oh, but oh, Semilandu, eh, eh, aha, Mark Bonogora. Oh, Semilandu.
Let me see you give the Lord a shout. Aha, money. Oh Lord, what by you? You are my dear. Let me see you give those, lift those hands high. Oh Lord, what by you? You are my dear. Oh Lord, what by you? Shebany left for you all. Shabora. Shebany left for you all. All Lord, who are by you? You are my dear. Aha! Monica! Let me see you praise my king, praise my king, praise my king. What's the king in the wind with him dollar? I'm gonna jump on the wind with him dollar. I feel like shouting. Aha! What he go a socket? Look and look and look it. What he go a socket? Look and look and look it. What he go a look it? Look and look and look it. What he go a socket? Look and look and look it. Everybody be soke oh yeah. Everybody be soke oh yeah. I better mole back big I'm a Jesus Jesus da 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 da. Be soke oh yeah. Lift him up. Everybody be soke oh. Everybody be soke oh. Everybody lift him higher. Lift him higher. I better mole back big I'm a Jesus Jesus. Listen. Money, Hey, I say, it's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. He's a champion God. Bow before him. Heaven and that bow before him. Heaven and that bow before him. Heaven and that bow before him. Oh, yeah, me, go, go, go. Oh, yeah, me, go, go, go. Heaven and that bow before him. Heaven and that bow before him. Thank you for showing up 
when doctors didn't know what to do. Thank you for showing up when men were confused. Thank you for showing up when we the loved one couldn't understand our pain. Thank you for standing by her when we didn't know what to do. Ten hours not enough to praise you. A thousand of tongues not enough. Thank you for not allowing the world to say sorry to us. We have returned in the sincerity of our heart and we are saying thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for Busala. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. With all of my heart, I say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Momoriri Ram. Momo unto tishe. Moyo. Moyo. Lori ya one mommy mook be oga. Lori any timo fair mufi for core. Jesus, Jesus, 
Father, we thank you. We return all the praise to you. We are grateful for in.